Hey everybody, Anthony here from Crazy Tech Lab and this is another episode of In The Lab which is my regular look at all the cool new stuff that we've got here at Crazy Tech Lab and all the things that you can look forward to on the channel. So today we're going to be having an unboxing of MSI's B760i Edge Wi-Fi. It's a brand new Mini ITX motherboard for Intel 12th and 13th gen CPUs. We're also going to be checking out some Kingston RGB memory which is a fantastic partner for that board as well and we're going to be discussing a few of the things that I'll be uh, looking at in the upcoming video review of that motherboard and what your other options are as well. So let's crack on with the video but not before a word from our sponsor. Our sponsor today is scdkey.com where right now you can get great deals on software such as Windows 10, Windows 11 and Microsoft Office and even better is I've got a 25% discount code to share with you guys. Windows 10 Professional, for example, which is fully upgradable for free to Windows 11. All you have to do is click buy now, enter the code CRT25 into the promotion code box, click apply, and the US price will drop from $22.09 down to just $16.57, and in the UK, you'll see the price fall to just £12.79. Once you've paid, head over to your order page, click the get key button, and copy your Windows key code. When you're in Windows, you want to move your mouse over to the Start button, right click, go to Settings, then Update and Security, and then move up to Activation, and finally click on Change Your Product Key, copy and paste your brand new product key into the box, click Next, then click Activate, and your Windows 10 installation is now activated. You can do the exact same thing with Office 2021 Professional, CRT25, click Apply, and you will see a hefty discount. Thanks again to SCD Key for sponsoring today's video. So here we have all the stuff that we're going to be looking at today, and we'll be unboxing the MSI MPG B760i Edge Wi-Fi motherboard. And then we'll be having a quick look at the Kingston Fury Renegade 6400 MHz or NT's uh, DDR5 memory and then we'll be putting all three of these things together the uh, cooler master uh, hyper 212 halo white cooler we've already looked at here on the channel you can see the uh, video in my description below and we'll be strapping all of that together to see what it actually looks like and it i, I can tell you now that it looks pretty awesome white cooler on a white silver motherboard with white and silver memory looks pretty awesome so let's get stuck in so here we have the msi mpg b 760i edge wi-fi and this is the cheaper version of the z790 version or z790 version if you um if you're living across the pond and uh, that board has a number of advantages over this one it has an extra m.2 port bringing the total to three has a couple of extra power stages and uh, slightly better audio and that kind of thing so what we're doing here today is just having a very very quick look at it because we'll be having our full review out here on the channel soon and um, it's a very nice looking board not too many other ones with this kind of color scheme so it's sort of white and silver hence me going for the uh, Kingston Fury Renegade memory and uh, as you can see very very good color matching there and also with the brand new Cooler Master 212 Halo White as well. So you've got plenty of silver and white going on there as well. So the uh, heatsink, just a single M.2 SSD under there, PCI Express 4. Then flipping it over, you've got a second slot here. Um, so it's reasonably well equipped, but obviously if you want to really maximize the storage, the Z790 version is maybe a slightly better option but it is a lot more expensive it's around 150 dollars or 150 pounds more expensive to be exact and doesn't really offer that many other features really you get the same number of fan headers which is three up here you get the same kind of rgb layout and cooling is very very similar as well with a very very similar looking pcb and if you uh, throw it around to the io panel and you've got I think there are actually slightly more USB ports on this motherboard, but there are um, a few differences with the Type-C. So here you can see the uh, 10 for 10 gigabits. That's uh, half the speed of the Z790 board, which has USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 on both the Type-C 
and the uh, type c header for your case as well so still a very very good looking motherboard and we'll be putting it through its paces in a review very very soon so let's put the motherboard itself to one side and see what else we get in the box it's a pretty basic package as you might expect for something costing 200 pounds or 200 dollars these days you don't usually get a lot of money uh, or a lot for your money in terms of accessories um, especially with today's prices and the fact that this is a mini, uh, mini motherboard so the miniaturization usually adds a premium onto that so you get two standard aerials for the uh, onboard wi-fi and uh, SATA cables as well you get four SATA ports on the board which is probably enough for most of us plus you get an RGB extension cable as well so that's pretty much it for the unboxing just a really quick look at those today and what we'll be doing now is just quickly opening up the memory uh, which Kingston has kindly sent along I've uh, had a few of their kits over recently and uh, they're doing a, uh, a pretty good job with speeds and pricing, this was probably one of the more aggressively priced DDR5 memory kits out there. This board does come in a DDR4 supporting version as well, but this is the DDR5 Kings Kingston Fury Renegade in white and silver. So I think there is a black version of this kit as well. And uh, as you can see here, uh, you get RGB lighting on the top, which looks absolutely awesome. So that is the Kingston Fury Renegade memory and we'll be using this in plenty of systems coming on the channel very very soon so let's start putting this thing together and if we throw the box to one side we can store the memory and see what this thing actually looks like with everything installed and have I got the memory the wrong way around yes I have DDR5 really doesn't make it easy for doing that but I should really know because the uh the plain logo is usually just gone on the outside of the board, so that's my bad. I couldn't quite see while I'm standing here vertical. So, uh, yeah, you can see what I mean, that this memory is just made for this motherboard. It's just, just a perfect fit. So don't forget, if you want to pick up the motherboard or memory or both, you can see the buy links in the description below that will take you straight to where you can grab the motherboard and the memory. And uh, what we'll do now quickly is install the cooler off camera and then you can go off and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Now one small issue I did encounter when I was installing this cooler which is the Cooler Master 212 Halo White which is not a massive cooler, it's only a single fan heatsink and a really, uh, relatively uh, small dimensions. But one thing I did find is that the width of the M.2 heatsink does kind of stretch underneath the cooler and you can see that that screw furthest in there just down there is uh, pretty inaccessible um, you might just be able to get down there if you remove the fan but it's just something to be aware of if you're installing an air cooler on this motherboard just make sure that you install your SSD first and be prepared not to be able to access it obviously you get really good access to the one on the rear and you will in most cases but the width and size of that heatsink is not particularly thick but it is very wide it might just be an issue with larger heatsinks uh, so just bear that in mind so we are nearly there with the cooler installation and as you can see it's a, uh, a really really nice fit on this motherboard and another thing with uh, cooler master obviously we're using the cooler master Hyper 212 Halo white cooler here. This setup here will fit in a Cooler Master NR200P. There's just enough room. Uh, I think it's with the vented side panel option. Um, I'm not sure if there's enough room with the glass side panel that you get with the case, but definitely with the vented side panel, you get enough room to house that whole setup in the case. So let's grab the fan. And I absolutely love the fan clips on this thing. They're just so easy to install for uh, fan clips. They're usually a nightmare, but on this cooler, they are absolutely fantastic. Just like that, that's all you need to do. Absolutely awesome. So again, if you wanna check out the Hyper 212 review, you can see that on the channel, see how it does against a similarly priced Noctua cooler. We're gonna be reviewing the motherboard very, very soon. So thanks for tuning in to another edition of In The Lab, and we'll be back soon.